Paul Brown. You've been under the car. Welcome back. My recovery gear that I have in the car every time I go on the beach or in the bush. So I'll start with the Camp Boss 4x4 deflators. They are really easy to use and they've got the gauge on there. They tell you what you want to let your tyres down to and you wind them on and it lets all the air out and stops. They're really good and easy to use. What are we doing, Mrs. Crispy? Airing down. What are we using? Camp Boss deflators. Camp Boss deflators. That's the go-to. Helping someone out with their tyre deflating with the Camp Boss. Unwind that lock nut. Ah, and then okay. in there is the actual gauge. It tells you where so you go. hold that one and then you turn that and then you can set it to, if you've got your glasses on like me, yeah, hey, you can right. actually <laughs> set it to 15, right. 20 or whatever. And then you just do your lock nut back up. Oh, and then that's it set. And then that, that's set. That's well, a pretty simple operation. Yeah, so and then you just chuck them in your pocket because you can have them. Oh, no, 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 no. No, yeah, you can have you, them. Are you serious? Yeah, yep. I'm serious. Thank you so much. Uh, probably 16. PSI. If you've got a heavier car, then maybe start at about probably either 20, 25 or 20. This is a heavier car now, so when I go to the beach now, I'll probably start at 20 because it's sort of got a lot of weight on it now. And in the bush? Probably 25. Just gives you a bit more traction. So I've got this little bag. It was a birthday present and it was the Weekender kit from ARB. And you got like this bag, a couple of shackles, a snatch strap. So I just keep my soft shackles in here. So I've got three Chaos Gear soft shackles. I think these are rated to 12 ton. Just a ARB snatch strap. It's a 20 meter one, I think. I'm just putting in the recovery hitch. George, four by four. Yeah, put it through there. And then you make that bigger. Then you put that big knot straight through it, and then that's tight. Right there. Right You can connect two snatch straps together or if you're using a bridle at the front of your car to attach onto both recovery points or just here. So straight into there and then connect it in over that knot. That is safer. Big shackles should be banned. So I've got three of the Chaos ones and then I've got two Fuse shackles, soft shackles. And these ones are four for here. Max trucks, and they're rated to seven ton minimum braking strength. So they're the Max trucks ones. And then I've just got a ARB tire deflator, one of those ones where you got to wind it onto the stem, pull the valve out, and then it'll tell you. I've got one of these to blow out valves or air cleaners if you need to blow out stuff. And then I've just got my air lines for my compressor, twin compressor. So there's two of those, two lines. And you had that installed by? UV 4x4 at Anogra. Ask for Alistair, he'll look after you. When I had me Ranger, I got a DriveTech 4x4 rival front bar I got put on the car, and that was out at Wolf 4x4 at North Lakes. Yeah, they end up giving me a bit of like recovery gear. So this one here is a winch extension strap. So it's about like 20 or 30 meters long. So that comes in handy because most of the winch ropes are around the 25, 26 meters. So if you need a longer, longer winch pull, you can use this extension and you will get a lot further. This is your tree trunk protector or like bridle. You can use it around a tree if you need to winch or you can use it at the front of your car and instead of winching off a of one chassis point, you even the load and you connect it to two. So that's what this is for, and this is a, this is a drive tech four by four. A couple of sets of gloves when you're using your winch and stuff. When you're pulling it out, you can chuck a set of gloves on. And then I've got the ARB 
recovery winch dampener. So this one here, you open up like this, and then you can weight it down just here, put some sand in there, whatever snaps, it's gonna stop it from hitting something. A little saw, just for cutting little branches and stuff like that. You never know, it could come in handy. And I've got a Camp Boss 4x4 tire repair kit. Okay, so the valve stuff. Yeah. So what does this do? This is the Take the old valve out and put a new one in. And I've got this kit with the tire repair kit, all oh, for yeah. an adventure. I've just replaced this thing here, the valve. So you've taken that out? Yeah, taken it out and I've put a new one in. Oh, happy days. So it just comes with all your gear. There's your little plugs. So you get a fair few of those. And then in here, you've got spare valves, valve caps. That's to get your valve stems out. And a couple of little Allen keys and stuff, which comes in handy. What I've got in here is just a little like power pack jump starter. I've had used it and got a few people out of trouble. So you just connect this into the front and then you just put that on the positive and your negative of your battery and just let it sit there for about five minutes, turn it on and then get them to try and start the car and it'll, yeah, should have enough power to jump start. The I've got four Max tracks and they're the MK2s. Chaos bag. In here is yeah. the dirty one. One so, just used. Yeah. So this strap is from ARB, and this is the one I got in the weekender trip. Whenever you use your recovery gear and it's like all dirty, make sure when you get home, you don't just wash wash your vehicle. Wash all your recovery gear because it gets in in the webbing and it can make it weaker. What's the number one thing that you would always take? Tracks. Four recovery boards, yes. Doesn't have to be Max Trax, it could be any brand, as long as you've got four, you've got four tyres, and it just, and if you, and it's, sometimes it's minutes, you've got minutes before the tide is coming up and it's going into your car. We're just standing here talking about let the games begin and all of a sudden, bam, here we are. One deep hole, never hole stopped. mate pulled up, never stopped in the soft sand. You are always gonna be in a lot of trouble. Number two? Number two, I would have, if, this is if people that's in their budget, two-way radio. You can call for help. Number three is your yes, snatch straps. And two <laughs> soft shackles is number three. Yeah, you gotta have recovery points. This recovery hitch is rated for five ton, but it's got smooth edges, so I can run soft shackles. That's from George 4x4. Um, Number five? Probably tire and foot repair kit. Because if you're out in the bush and you get a puncher and, you, and you, you could be able to fix it, don't have a spare. Dog that's got mud all over his face. Now, now the cleaning starts. Now the wife's going to clean my car. The cleaning of the car starts. That's going to take a while. No, it's not as, not as dirty as Rob's. No. <laughs> <laughs> so these are plastic, hard plastic. Yeah. And then Kayon sell these things where you drill a hole and bolt them in. And it's like, I think it's like 50 bucks, I think. For, for a set? For a set of 12. And what are the other ones called? Max Track um, Extreme. Extreme. Yeah. So they're the ones that are like these, you can replace them yeah. with Max Tracks. And these ones are just the MK2s. But I mean, you can do that. And they're from Kayon. Yeah. Yeah. Because next time when you go to stick it in the sand, you're not going to wear these out. No. So I'll be able to keep these for ages. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So we've got recovery boards. So you take this with you whenever you go. Wherever I go, I take it with me. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. 
really so good. So that's for um, when you're winching? That's what we yep. use for the, the dampener. So if anything snaps and you fill it up with some dirt to make it a bit more weighty. Where's that bag from? Match bag. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got it from Chaos. Oh, okay. It's good how it's got those little pockets. Isn't it? Yeah. So that is to protect Rob from the thingy down there, that metal hook. And you put that over the winch rope. So if anything snaps, it's got to hit this first and this will weigh it down and try and stop whatever's so carry, where the force is going. So then I carry multiple, so that's to put on your tow, tow ball hitch. And then they're for connectors and bridles. Where'd you get that one from? Oh, I got those from Drifter. Drifter? And they're 14 ton rated. Okay. I'm not sure the tonnage on those, but... Heavy duty ones. They're heavy duty. It's got a few. Got a for few. summer, just for like connecting um, snatch ropes or, or to put on the... When you put a bridle on, so you'll so spread the goes... load of the car weight. And that's called a bridle? Yeah. And then I've got a spare um, winch rope. And then I've got another oh, bridle, which is, can double up as a small... So you can use, if you want to come around the front of the car. So instead of putting it connected to one side, you, you can there. even the load. They go there. So then that even the load that goes on the front. There. Both sides of the so chassis. instead of pulling like so many ton on one, you the load yeah. in half. And then a spare tie kit. Yeah. ARB. And I bought these the other day for when we go to the Cape, if we crack our valves on oh, our yes. things. And then I bought a truckload of these. So if you get a hole in your, in your tire, you can, that's all the gear that you need to clean the hole out. And then these things here with this thing, that just you push them sometimes you can use two or three and you push it into the hole and they actually stay in there then you cut them off flush and, that's and, they, the and they plug up the hole okay. these things here he's got spare valves yeah kinetic rope for the snatch ring. double line snatch ring so you can double the weight of the winch so it'll take more capacity and this, this is, is from drifter. drifter 20 meters a years now. and it's uh 15 ton it's a good snatch yeah rope. it's really good Need a big truck. <laughs> you gonna gun it? Yeah. Uncle Johnny, he's not gonna gun it. Up, up, up. Keep going, keep going. You. So they just put their two jet skis on their trailer. Now they can't get the car out. And the tide's coming up. Oh, now he's bogged. Ah, the Raptor to the rescue. Shit, that tide's coming up. Nice recovery. Right, it's Uncle Johnny's turn for his full drive tips and gadgets that he uses when he goes for a drive. These are pretty common. Most people have them. I've got a double thumper. I've got an extra long ch um, tube. I've got the camper on. This doesn't quite reach. So everyone should have one of these. Uh, today we're doing a comparison with my ARB compressor and Uncle Johnny has got the double thumper from Kings and we both of our we're going to pump up two tires they're set at 16 psi and we're going to see who can pump them up to 36 both tires and see who the quick is yep Johnny yeah. righto let's go recovery gear you should always carry it even if you don't use it the rule of thumb is if you get bogged they use yours this is King's. This is probably the most important one. You put that over the snap straps, so if it does break, it doesn't shoot back and kill someone. Other thing I think you should take, especially if you're going by yourself, someone like Tyler Thompson, is um, 
the back up. Self jumps. Uncle Johnny to the rescue. Yeah. Happy days. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Love you. laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we rocked up and we're like, oh, and then we're like, thank goodness there actually are other people here. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one here is for most vehicles up to 2.8 diesel petrol or 6 litre petrol. You get different ones for smaller cars. But I found a bigger one. So you're covered. So that'll start like. Like a 200 series, like yeah. a diesel, a yeah. big V8 diesel. So it's lithium. I'll, 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 I'll leave this in here for six months. Go to charge it, it's still 100%. You, know, you can also charge your phone on it. It's got a light on it there too. So it's got all the oh, that's cool. auto barn. I've got it on special, I think it might have been 140 bucks or something. If you buy a South or even if you're full driving and you're on a narrow track and they get past you, I guess you can jump start yourself. Which comes back to the cables. Always, ca always carry these. They do get used a fair bit. Auto barn too. They, they can, you can buy them anywhere. You know, but you've got to make sure that they won't lower your engine. Car repair kit. I've only used it once. But same story. Better off having it there. Clean the hole out. That's the punch in these. I've got this here from just online. eBay. Check your PSI on your tyres. Tire gauge. Yeah, so you don't so you're not guessing it. I've got this from Repco. Tide Deflators, Storm, Comms, just again, you know, it's got little bits and pieces which is probably handy. You know, instead of carrying all your tools, it's just got this just lives in the glove box. You know, it's a Commons. I actually got this from Big W. Big W, not, not, the, curry not, not the curry section. <laughs> Take one. Cooking with Uncle Johnny. Righto, what have we got, Uncle Johnny? Massimon prawn curry, but I've got cocktail prawns and I forgot, didn't realise that they had the shell on their tail. Ah, so no. Now we're just going through it. And peeling them all off. Oh, so someone, you might get some crunchy ones. <laughs> but as the flavour. Oh, bloody hot. <laughs> Massimon curry from Big W. Yep. Not in the curry section. Not in the curry section. It's in the gravy section or where the beef stroganoff and those, those mixes are. Yep. Which seems strange. I carry a few of these, mainly because you've got to ch recharge the hammer, GoPro, maybe a couple of phones, you know, all bits and pieces. So four is an overkill, but the same price as a two. Big W somewhere. No. In the curry Not section. Not the curry section. Uh, other thing, if you can afford it, is a hammer. Uh, same story that lives in the car on the on the dash, so that will just power on. Oh. Anaconda BCF. Yeah, like that's for forward driving and driving. This thing here, easy step. So you want to get up here, have a look. I think they're about twenty dollars. Two smack tracks and tie downs for them. You never have enough heavy ties. They're good for everything. Torches, just in case at night you get broken down or you want to look something in the back. Oh. So that's handy because you've got scissors, you've got tweezers if you bloody get thorns in you, in you. and same, this takes up no room so you might as well have it. If you could only take one thing, what would you take? If I was by myself, yeah. I'd take the jump starter. The jump starter. Because yeah. when your battery goes, it goes. First aid kit, pretty well everything in there. We're looking for Uncle Johnny because he went down here and he hasn't come back. What are you doing, Johnny? What have you hurt yourself? No, I haven't hurt myself. What was that big thing at the back here? The what? The you what? feel that? Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, that's something. That's a problem. Stay there. Did it hurt? That's it. Alrighty. Well done, Uncle Johnny. Bye. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe, and you'll find us on. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Crispy Camping. And we've got a website, www.crispyscampingadventures.com.au. No? No. Dot oh. co. Oh, dot co. Crispies, and you'll find us on, our, we've got a website. There's some merch on there, and stubby holders, and hats, and shirts, and stuff. And it's www.crispyscampingadventures.com. Dot. Dot. 
C-O. C-O. <laughs> so I need if to do that again. Christmas camping adventures will come yeah. out. Yeah. We are going to do a manual crawl control because Uncle Johnny has got himself bogged. On purpose. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> so what he's going to do, we're going to get him to go into four low and in manual first gear and we're going to get him to try and do a manual crawl control. It's got more torque to get you out. Look at the mess. Made a bit of a mess there, Johnny. Yeah, I'm amazed. The 200's bogged. Uncle Johnny's going to pull me out. Have I just gun it? No, you don't gun it. Just go, like, just firm take off. And then it'll be just like a big jolt. And then it should pull me straight out. But on the two-way, you go on three. One, two, three, and then I'll put it in reverse and go. Radio on. <laughs> 